and when the graduation ceremony is over, we will meet with you out in front of the convention center, where we can discuss plans to go out for dinner. All right, that sounds good. I will be leaving now. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, Ty and Carter, remember that we are supposed to be leaving in about 20 minutes. There are not even that many people in here yet. We must be very early. Why did we have to get here so early? It is bad enough that we will have to sit through the graduation ceremony, which will last for a few hours. But now we also probably have to sit here for a while and wait for the graduation ceremony to begin. Well, that's just how it is. I don't want to hear any complaints about it. Carter and I are probably just going to use our phones during the whole graduation ceremony so that it will be less boring. Fine, whatever, if it will keep you from complaining about being here, but at least put your phones away and pay attention to the graduation ceremony when your sister is receiving her diploma. Okay, whatever. And it has been an honor to serve as the principal for the class of 2021, and I wish the best of luck to you. And as I get ready to retire after this graduation ceremony, I wish the best of luck to all students and staff at Randolph Valley High School. At this time, students will now be receiving their diplomas. Diplomas will be given to students in the following order. Class valedictorian, class salutarian, class president, and then the remainder of the students in alphabetical order at last name. Oh no, the battery on my phone is... Low. My phone is also on low battery. I will probably only be able to use it for about five more minutes. I wish I had brought my portable charger with me. Me too. It is going to be really boring if we have to sit through the rest of this graduation ceremony without using our phones. I agree. Hey, mom and dad, can Carter and I use your phones since our phones are on low battery? No, you may not. We don't trust you to use our phones. After the last time you used our phones, and you had a tantrum and you broke them. Hey Madison, can we borrow your phone? No, I don't trust you either. Try and Carter, stop that right now. Jonathan Stephen Alexander. Now everyone in the room is looking at us, even everyone on the stage. Well, you know what? Since we have everyone's attention, we are going to tell everyone what we really think of this stupid graduation. My brother and I did not even want to attend this stupid graduation ceremony, but our parents forced us to attend this graduation ceremony just because our sister, Sarah, is graduating, but we still don't want to be here. Ty and Carter, stop behaving like this, right now. You two are already going to be grounded for this when we get home. If you don't stop behaving like this right now, then you will be grounded even more. No, we will not stop behaving like this until we get to go home. Excuse me, but I need you to leave the convention center right now. You are being kicked out for creating this disruption. Now look what you did, Ty and Carter, we are being kicked out of the convention center because of you. Good, Carter and I just want to get out of here. Come on, let's go. Well, I guess now we can continue giving students their diplomas, now that the people who had created that disturbance have been removed from the room. Ty and Carter, I can't believe that you got us kicked out of the convention center. Now. We won't be able to watch Sarah receive her diploma. Whatever, I am just glad that we got to leave the graduation ceremony. Can we just go home now? Hold on a second. We told Sarah that we would meet her out in front of the convention center. I would call her and tell her to meet us at home, but she doesn't have her phone with her because the graduating students were not allowed to bring their phones with them into the graduation ceremony, so she could still be expecting to meet us in front of the convention center. 
I think we should wait out here for the graduation ceremony to end, so that we can meet Sarah out here when the graduation ceremony is over. Yes, I think that we should do that. No, we don't want to wait out here for the graduation ceremony to end. It is going to be so boring waiting outside the convention center for that long. Well, that's just too bad. Also, we were all going to make plans to go out to dinner at a restaurant after the graduation ceremony was over. But you two will not be coming with us to the restaurant after the way that you behaved today. We still have the leftover dinner from last night at home that you can eat, as well as other food at home that you can eat. Hey, Sarah. We are very sorry that we got kicked out of the convention center and could not be there when you received your diploma. It is all Triad Carter's fault for throwing a tantrum and then getting us kicked out of the convention center. Anyway, I was thinking that we would all go home first. And then we can decide what restaurant we will go to for dinner tonight. Although Ty and Carter will not be coming to the restaurant with us after the way that they have behaved tonight. All right then. Ty and Carter, you are both grounded for a month from us behaving at your sister's high school graduation ceremony and getting us kicked out of the convention center. This was supposed to be a special day for Sarah, and we all were supposed to celebrate her achievement, yet you must behave and... Este es el juez Patimaño. Ambas partes han acordado cantar la sentencia dictada hoy. El ganador será pagado por Patty y el perdedor estará sujeto a los recursos del tribunal para cobrar su deuda. El tribunal ahora está en sesión. Jasmine Brown está demandando a su amiga Brianna Wills por los gastos que pagó durante una noche en el día de los caídos. Brianna dice que le devolvió el dinero a Jasmine y está contrademandando a Jasmine por el bolso de Mark Jacobs que ella supuestamente no devolvió. ¿Quieres el dinero? Si quiero el dinero. Quiero el dinero, pero me estás demandando por dinero, pero me debes dinero que no tiene sentido. Ese es tu error. Eso no es cierto. No me importa. No, no está bien. No sabes cuántas botellas bebiste esa noche. Tú la nuqueaste. Damas y caballeros, el juez Patty Mayo. Harvey. ¿Qué pasa, chicos? Soy Patty Mayo. Bienvenido a Patty Justice. Ambas partes que verán en el caso de hoy acordaron cumplir con la sentencia de este tribunal. Tal como se dicta en la sentencia de hoy, si se dicta una sentencia, el tribunal pagará el sucesor y tomará la sentencia como deuda del perdedor que estará sujeto a los recursos de este tribunal para cobrar la deuda. Corte ahora en sesión. Ah, primero en el expediente, Brown versus Willis. Jasmine Brown, demandante. Brianna Willis, demandada. ¿Cómo están las damas hoy? I am no longer Gastado. 
Usted afirma que compró cuántas botellas? Dos botellas. A 300 dólares por pieza. Correcto, a 300 una pieza. Bien, así que es un total de 600 dólares más de la entrada, que serían 700 dólares. Y uh, estás reclamando 500 dólares. ¿Por qué? Quiero decir que le di el descanso porque fuimos a un club después de eso. Solo quiero las cantidades completas. ¿Cuál es la cantidad total? 700 el total. ¿Quieres que pague toda la noche? Sí, porque piense, ¿cuánto ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo eso tiene sentido? ¿Eso es interés? Eso es mucho interés. <risa> bueno, es... Quisiera que me devuelvan esta bueno, cantidad de dinero de retorno, ¿no? ¿Crees que esos 500 satisfaría este evento? Bien, uh, señorita Willis, su serie de eventos. Está bien, correcto. Ante todo, soy la amiga que paga por todo, y eso lo sabemos. Como mujeres, cuando salimos, fuimos con un grupo de chicos. Estuvimos con un grupo de chicos. En primer lugar, no pagamos porque no fuimos a ninguna parte. Eso nos hizo pagar por uno, y si nos hicieron pagar, no iba a devolverte el dinero. De todos modos, porque me debes dinero. Pagué por tus pestañas, pagué por tu pedido de Tony Burch, pagué por las bolsas de Mark Jacobs, pero todavía no los recibo. Y yo tengo los recibos. Ok, muestra los recibos. Le pedí mi retiro del dinero, pero ella no. Si quieres entregar tu evidencia a mi algo así, voy a echar un vistazo a Jasmine como evidencia primero. Señorita Willis, un par de cosas que dijo en su declaración no coinciden con su historia. Ella no tiene evidencias. Está en mi antigua aplicación. Así que no tiene ninguna evidencia con usted. Está en mi antigua aplicación. Está bien, así que, así que, señora, eso... Pero la Señora, señora Willis. Sí, así que no tiene... La pregunta es si no tiene nada. Sí, Pero no la tiene nada. Vieja. Sí o no. Tiene dificultades con preguntas de sí o no. Así que tiene pruebas. Sí. Está bien. Puede presentarlas hoy. No. Gracias. Tiene pruebas que puede presentar hoy, ahora. Puede entregárselo sí. a algo así. Está en mi teléfono. Está bien. No me importa cómo sea. El email. ¿Alguna vez te olvidas de tu de dinero en otro pantalón? <risa> sí. Algunas veces me ha pasado. Sí. Así que, ¿para qué usaste los 150 dólares? Así que, como el mínimo era de dos botellas, que estaban en una sección con mucha gente y obtuvieron las botellas, pero quería una botella de patrón. Así que pagué 150 por eso, y ese fue el especial, 150. Y ese fue el especial, 150. Y se podía ver la fecha y todo. El 31 de mayo es cuando se procesó. This motherfucking dog. That's better.
Uh, I'm not doing this. What I'm going to choose to do is... What I can do is better.